welcome to the CAD Cage, brought to you by Zentech Consultants. Uh, in the CAD Cage, we put two CAD systems side by side, test an important design function, and tell you if one system is better, one is worse, or if it's just a wash. So let's get started with today's competitors, AutoCAD versus BricsCAD. And we're going to test the process of adding and editing doors and windows on a plan. So you can see up here, I've got AutoCAD on the left side of the screen. I've got BricsCAD over here on the right side of the screen. And they're very similar packages in a lot of ways. Very common tools, even work with the same basic DWG files. So what I'm going to start off with doing here is, uh, I'll start off over in AutoCAD. And all we want to do is take this door. You can see that this door is a block. I want to copy this door over into this room. And I need to flip the swing so it goes to the interior of the room. And I want it to be 12 inches from this corner over. Pretty simple process. So in AutoCAD, how do we do that? Well, number one, I'm probably going to want to go in. I'm going to create a construction line. So I'm going to use my basic offset command right, to offset this exterior line that I want to pull from off 12 inches so I know where my line is going to be. All right, then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy over the door here. Right, and I'll just copy it kind of from the end point of this line and then pan over until I get to the intersection of this line. Not a problem. All right, now I can erase that construction line. I've got it in the right location. All right, now I can go ahead and I'm going to use the trim command and I'm going to select cutting edges here to kind of pick the, uh, the outer lines. I've got to zoom in here a little bit to kind of catch the two jam lines here that I want to trim to. All right, and then I'm going to just clean up those interior lines to clean up my door. And then I can mirror it. Right? Use the mirror command to flip this over its center point here. Right? Tell it I want to erase the old one. And I'm done. Nothing at all terrible about that. I've been doing things like that for many, many years. Right? So it's a pretty solid system. It's the way most of us are used to working. Most of us use AutoCAD. I'm going to go over and do this exact same command, but I'm going to use a tool that they have here in, in BricsCAD. It's called Copy Guided. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same door, same drawing file, same setup. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw a window around the door. And you see that I can just pull it over. And what's great about this is that I can move it. And you see as I move it from one side of the wall to the other, it'll automatically flip the door, even though it's nothing but the exact same 2D block we had in AutoCAD. And I can actually tab. So when I go in here and say, look, from the outside wall, you see where it's measuring. I want to make sure that that's 12 inches. I can go in and just hit enter. Right, and drop that wall into place. Oop, I did it twice. <laughs> there it is. Right, you see, just like that, it copies and flips it in one step. Definitely advantage BricsCAD on that one, no question. Right, it's one command versus four or five. Um, kind of using the same tool, I, I want to talk about how do we work with, uh, let's say, moving windows. Let's say in, in each of these out here on the exterior wall, I've got this same window in both drawings. Right, I'm going to go back to AutoCAD. And if I want to actually go ahead and, you know, copy this window over, right, I can go ahead and I can just copy that window over here, bring it down, you know, maybe a set distance. But the thing is, if I want that window to be like two feet from over here, again, I got to draw construction lines or I got to put it in. Now I also have the problem, these lines, these, these wall lines still running through here, right? So again, I got to go back, do that basic trim command, right? Oh, got to remember to select my cutting edges, right? Pick my cutting edges here. And here, and you see that the problem is the window doesn't go all the way through, so I got to make sure I catch four of these, <laughs> which is a little tedious. Right? And there shouldn't be a problem. Now I can just go back in and I can draw my cut lines up. But you see the problem that I run into here? It's actually trimming those lines out in the window. So you got to be a little bit careful with that, right? So a little frustrating. It's not the end of the world. We can definitely do it. Right? But same thing. If I use that same copy guided tool over here in BricsCAD, I find that it just works a lot easier that I can just take that window. You see, I can move it to anywhere than this, that same wall. And now I can go in and get that spacing. Like I said, I needed a two-foot spacing on that side. Right? And you notice that it copies it over. And as part of it, you see that it actually trims up and cleans out all of the line work in between. Right? So that I actually have an opening here and not just overlapping lines. Right? And one other tool that I did want to talk about here today is not just the copy, but there's a variant of this called the Move Guide. So in AutoCAD, right? let me just kind of pan to the same area on both these. In AutoCAD... If I wanted to move, you see, we've got kind of an elevator pit and a, uh, a chase next to it. If I wanted to switch these, if I wanted to move this door down to here, how would I do that? Well, I could go in here and I could just move these right, and just kind of you know bring them down, leave my ortho on. And again, I have to kind of preset some construction lines or, or know the distance from like the center line down. I'm just going to kind of pull it in here. Right? And then, of course, same thing, right? I'm going to have to go in. I'm going to have to trim and adjust. 
to get that to go. Or I could actually go in here and I could save a step in AutoCAD by doing the stretch command. And I can stretch that down and that fixes that. The problem now is I still have to go back in, right? And use my, you know, fill a command to kind of, you know, set, set a radius of zero. It's again, by no means is this difficult, right? I'm just going in and I'm just kind of cleaning stuff up. And there you go. I've got my wall up oh, and I still have to trim here because that line is still there, right? So that's the kind of stuff you have to kind of play with in AutoCAD to get it to work. Um, one of the things that I do like about this BricsCAD is it's got a variant of that copy guide, which is called the move guided, right? Which does exactly the same thing. It lets me actually go in here. And when I move this wall down, and again, you see, I can go in and I can put specific distances in, right? So I can get it till it's about centered, right? So if I want to put in like, you know, one foot eight on that side, and you see that what it did is it moved it down and it actually moves it. It wasn't a stretch command. And I'm, you know, very, very easy for me to just kind of switch between, you know, uh, having the chase on this side and the elevator on the other side. Definitely advantage BricsCAD on that. I think that works a lot better. It's a much smoother type of functionality, right? So basic concept of, of moving and editing. I will throw out one other thing in BricsCAD's favor here. I'll just show you here in terms of, of using that. Uh, we'll do the copy guided here, right? That the great thing about this is that I'm also able to do this and I can work my way around down other walls in other directions in other setups and different swings anywhere using just the standard 2D block. Doing that same kind of thing here to have to do that five or six times in AutoCAD, definitely going to take way longer. So in terms of working with basic editing of doors and windows in your plans, absolutely on this one, Advantage BricsCAD. We're out, folks. We'll catch you next time on the CAD Cage.